All right, greetings YouTube. Grave mistake here. I'm coming to you with one of my first reviews. So, and if I can keep my little puppy zombie out of the photo, it'd be great if you'd leave my table alone. Uh, I'm coming with you with my first gun review. Um, I have a large, large collection of firearms. Uh, some people call it being a gun nut. Uh, say what you will. Uh, I I enjoy it. I'm a grown adult, so I'm going to enjoy it. Um, this right here is a Freedom's Arms 22. Uh, it's a small miniature revolver, and to give you an idea of how small this thing really is, it is. Sorry, that's all my stuff from work. I was in a rush. It is way smaller than my hand, as you can see. Uh, it basically is like a one finger gun when, when you hold it to shoot it. Uh, well, you'd be holding it with this one because that's your trigger. Um, it is fun. I, I wouldn't recommend a gun like this for personal protection. There are a lot of people that do. Uh, I just, I don't want to risk my life uh, and my, my family's life, anybody in my family, with the quality of a 22 bullet. Uh, I'm not saying 22s are not dangerous, by far they are definitely dangerous. Um, they, they can easily kill. I mean, uh, everybody's seen Swamp People, I'm giving them a shout out, and you know, you with a 22, with a regular 22 bullet, and it doesn't have to be a 22 mag, you can kill an alligator, and that's a pretty tough little critter. It's okay, zombie. Um, my puppy's name is Zombie. I apologize. You might hear him whine because he wants my attention. Uh, now, about these, they are a blast. Uh, you literally could put it in your pocket. You could carry it as self-defense. It's just when it comes to reliability, uh, everybody that's big into 22s, everybody I know started off with 22s, rim fire, you know, they're just not consistent enough in a box that every round will fire. Uh, you do get a lot of duds, and that's what I'm referring to when it comes to, you know, using a 22 for personal protection. But going to the range, you cannot have any more fun than 22s. 22s are a blast when you go to the range. Uh, this little guy right here, if you hunt around, you can actually pick up North American Arms, Freedom's Arms. You can find them at pawn shops. People, you know, love to trade them. Uh, I'm a big collector of them. I love them all. I love the Earl styles. That little bit bigger reminds you of a Navy Colt revolver. Uh, they are a blast. Um, you could probably pick these up anywhere from 50 bucks, honestly, all the way up to uh, $200. I've seen them priced at that. I personally would never pay something like that. The most I would probably pay is on my my scale would probably be about seventy dollars to 125 maybe 150 at the max if I really got an itch and I just have to have it for my collection um, let me give you an idea of how this gun breaks down it's very simple you're not gonna do a fast tactical reload with a gun like this this right here is actually what holds and locks in your cylinder so to take this apart you literally have to, to reload it you have to drop the entire cylinder out and you're gonna do that by pushing that in and giving it a little bit of a half moon twist I mean just a half a circle you know and then this is gonna slide right on out and that basically holds this cylinder perfectly in line with the barrel so one of the things if you are buying one of these definitely check this rod pull that rod out and check it make sure it's as straight as possible um, then you're going to end up with your cylinder. Your cylinder is going to hold five 22s. Now this holds a uh, 22 long rifle, 22 rifle long, which I don't know if you're an avid 22 shooter. When you're young, you will make the mistake of getting those, and if you try to cycle those through a Ruger 10 22, you're going to get a lot of hang-ups. Uh, but this will also shoot 22 shorts. I don't mind shooting 22 shorts out of it, but if just be mindful if you're going to shoot a lot of 22 shorts it does give a build up inside the cylinder and you can have a couple you, uh, you can have a couple incidences 
uh, you'll start getting a hang up if you try to put a 22 long rifle in here after you shoot a lot of 22 shorts. Um, so, you know, pick what caliber you're going to shoot for the day and go and have a blast. Uh, Subsonics are a lot of fun out of these. Uh, you're definitely going to get a lot of noise. Uh, pretty much even if you shoot a regular 22 long rifle, with how short the barrel is, as you can see, the barrel is maybe an inch, and that's being generous. Uh, it's okay, buddy. It's okay. I'll give you some. I'll show you tension here in a minute. Um, I'm sorry about that. Uh, he's used to playing every day when I first get off work. Um, I highly recommend these guns. Uh, they are a lot of fun. They actually used to make for the Freedom's Arms for this model. Actually, they they actually make a if you have open carry in your area or in your state, uh, they make a belt buckle, and it's a it's you know it's a hell of a thing to actually have one of these on you in a belt buckle when somebody tries to do one of those surprise. Oh, we're doing an EDC drop. Let's see what you have in your pockets and on you in case of an emergency. Realistically, I probably wouldn't carry this like that uh, just because I wouldn't want to mess it up too bad, get it all scuffed up, uh, you know, from daily walking around, uh, goofing off, bumping into stuff. I'm kind of a klutz. The only hard thing about these sometimes is lining these back up uh, perfectly because you got to play with the cylinder quite a bit, pushing it back and forth. Uh, and you got to make sure that the locking rod actually has a, it's not a full circle, it's a quarter moon. And once you get it back in, you got to push it in, give it the quarter twist. The, give me one minute, guys. My wife is locked out. Let me let her in. Sorry about that, guys. Um, so to wrap this up, uh, these are definitely a pistol I would recommend if you want to have a lot of fun uh, you don't want to have to spend a lot of money you want something different definitely a conversation starter uh, I would definitely recommend this firearm uh, well this was my first review if there's anything you would like to see any kind of firearms that you would prefer or like to get a review on I have a pretty large collection um, and you'd be amazed what I can get my hands on. So give me a uh, give me a shout out and let me know what y'all think, what you like. Uh, if you got any comments on how I can improve any of this, definitely let me know. So go ahead, give me a subscribe. Don't be afraid to click it, and definitely give me a thumbs up if you like it. Even if you don't like it, give it a thumbs up and tell me what we can do to re you know what we can do to improve on. Let's grow together, and thank you.